One thing um, we have as coaches that's our super weapon is questions. Questions are powerful things. Questions unlock so much. It, it, so most of my clients, I ask them something and they're like, oh my gosh, I've never, I did not think about it that way. And it's like a, it's like a key that opens up something in you that you didn't discover or didn't realize about yourself. And then, then you find your own solution. So this is why prompts and questions in the book that I, I create is, is so important. I'm doing my own journal, actually. I'm writing on my own journal and I'm surprised sometimes what comes out. And sometimes you're happy when you hear, when you read a question, you're like, I really want to answer this. But this, as I said, the questions that um, I created have a structure and have steps. Like for you, what you uh, just mentioned was about limiting beliefs. You know, a belief is something you think about and tell yourself over and over again until you believe it. And But we don't take the time to think about, okay, but what is it that I actually do believe about myself? And reflecting on that. And I feel like, like when we were doing the confidence coaching sessions and we would have people, you would give us these exercises to do, and we had to go and uh, uh, find something to somebody to talk about or somebody to do. And what I realized is after that, going through those exercises, I needed a space to reflect about what they did for me, you know, and reflecting is such a beautiful way of creating awareness about yourself and understanding yourself. And what I realized also is when a guy is able to do that, there's nothing more sexy than a guy who's self-aware. I'm very self-aware. <laughs> just to, just to, just to you know, put that out there, it's a really? tagline in my tagline in my Tinder profile. But because we're, you're able to express yourself more, you're able to reflect with me and bounce off with me more because you know more about yourself, you know? So this thing of uh, personal development is just for, I don't know what, it's just, you know, this myth that it helps you feel better or whatever. No, it really, it, it, it doesn't just change you, it changes your relationships. Yeah, I, I was just going to share, I think a big part of this for men is answering those questions has social consequences. So mm. men often feel judged for their answers. And to Michael's point, well, they only label a few emotions because men, societally speaking, aren't supposed to be feeling all those emotions and expressing all of those emotions. So we hide behind this mask of, I'm good, I'm okay, I'm great. Eh, today wasn't a great day, but we don't really express any more. And oftentimes we feel if we do express more, there's judgment, there's criticism, there's loss of status for men. So these questions get buried. They don't get answered publicly or shared with our friends and family. And then we sit at a blank page in our journal and we get very anxious because we don't know how to even start these questions. And to your point, I, I feel like these questions are, are like shining a flashlight. You know, our job as coaches is to point the flashlight in the right direction. So, you know, if the doorbell was to ring right now and someone was to come in here and ransack my room and I just finished laundry and some clothes were clean, some were dirty and the whole place is turned upside down and the lights are off, you know, I, I open the door, I'm overwhelmed. What, what's clean? What's dirty? I don't know. I can't see anything. Our job as coaches is to put the flashlight and show you, okay, here's the clean clothes. And journaling is like, all right, let's start hanging these up. Let's organize our closet. Oh, flashlight on the dirty clothes. Okay, let's start putting these in the hamper. I know I need to clean these. And that journaling process for you is a way to take this stream of thoughts that is just flooding you day in and day out and to recognize the important thoughts that we want to turn into beliefs that we want to bring into our identity. And as you said with that prompt, the negative thoughts that we're telling ourselves day in and day out that might be creating a negative belief that's hindering our confidence, that's hindering our growth. But if we're not looking at any of these, we're hiding from them. We're closing the door the second we see that dirty room in the dark and we have no flashlight. Well, it's very hard to unpack, to get organized, to feel really confident in those moments where you got to get on stage and speak. You got to present in front of your peers. You have to ask your boss for a raise. Mm -hmm. 